Hey, what's going on YouTube? Back at it again, Marine X here. It's time to do that one year review of the 72 inch matte white Husky toolbox. You know I'm in love with this thing a little bit. I got some pros and cons, but first, if you're the type of person that likes man caves, tools, survival bags, all that type of stuff, hit the subscribe button. We like doing that type of stuff on the channel. You absolutely gotta join the Discord channel. We're going from a platoon, slowly creeping towards a battalion. So you gotta join up, man. We're gonna be talking about the stuff we're putting on the grill this weekend. You know, Independence Day is coming up. So make sure you join that as well. Let's get into this box real quick and check it out. We gotta talk about what we got here, man. We have the 72 inch Husky toolbox. We got it in the matte white. It is that 19 gauge steel. Remember we talked about steel is similar to wire, meaning that the lower the number, the higher the steel capacity the more bumps and bruises that bad boy can take so i opted for you know that 19 gauge a little bit more durable uh it does have the rubber wood top rubber wood i think from taiwan so you know they laminate it together a bunch of different rubber wood um, tops and it's, it's holding up pretty well i put paste wax on it so far twice just to keep it so that if i ding it up or if i have anything on here it's pretty resilient to that type of stuff it does include several drawers it has one long drawer at the top you know it comes with a two sets of keys it comes with a keychain which i haven't put on my keys um but i don't i haven't even taken the keys out of the the drawer be, or out of the bag because I, I never locked this thing it's in the back of my garage someone makes it way back here you know then they got to worry about something else other than making off with some tools you know for the most part you guys know that i'm going to give you my perspective of this toolbox but it's coming from the perspective of the kind of someone that likes to do woodworking likes to fix stuff around the house needs to put something together i got eight spark plugs over there the wires you know some offset pliers i'm about to do a little tune up on my truck so it's coming from that type of perspective of a DIY, I'm not prosumer, not a pro, nothing like that. So when I tell you things are holding up here and things are holding up there, that means that that drawer is getting opened up every couple of days, not getting slammed daily. But let's start from top to bottom. First off, box itself does have this wind up motion. So you come here, wind this bad boy up. Let's keep going, keep going. Once you get it lifted, you have access to this under storage area. One complaint that I do have is it's not fully accessible for storage, but you know, some obviously the crossbar for the top needs somewhere to go. Um, but I'm just not the biggest fan of that's there, but I don't put anything in there that I need to reach quite often because I have this against the wall. That back space back there is pretty much useless. I keep paint rollers back there, stuff that I rarely, rarely touch. If this was in a more central location, like in the middle of a shop, and I can access it from a 360, then that back area would make more sense. But the front area, I keep painter's tape. I keep sanding discs and I keep, you know, stuff from my grinder and stuff like that. Stuff that gets touched often during a woodworking project or during this type of project, but nothing that I need to access daily like screwdrivers drill bits sockets stuff like that that really wouldn't make a lot of sense to keep down there there is a hack you can watch my video about the husky desk where you can slap a uh you know grab yourself a drill driver and i think it's a 10 let me see i think it is a 10 millimeter yeah you can put the 10 or maybe it's an eight let's try the 10 millimeter put a 10 millimeter in here and basically you put this in here you put a drill driver on there really an impact drive will be better and you can zip that right up real quickly and you know don't have to worry about hand cranking it i don't mind hand cranking it i'm not lifting this very often i do use that hack for my desk so let's, let's start with the top um you know primarily this is my youtube set so this is usually pretty tidy it's pretty neat back here it's very rare when it looks pretty chaotic um, I really have a starting from the right to the left. I got a crappy Keurig. I don't drink this coffee. This is for guests. Somebody comes over here. They really want some coffee. They're out in the garage. Boom, we'll make it happen. We have some coffee for you. Um, this is where I keep my knife storage, my um, flashlight storage. 
this is kind of like a little staging area. So I keep this mouse pad here. Sometimes I'm prepping for a project. I might be digging in a drawer or something like that. And I want to just kind of keep all the tools in one spot. I put it on this mouse pad so I can kind of just think about what I'm going to be grabbing. This is some scrap cedar, some scrap copper piping that I had. And I kind of just threw together um, some ash wood. This ash wood is in the back. And I put together this like stand for some of the whiskeys I keep out here. You know, I really enjoy whiskey. If you guys haven't seen my other channel, check that out, man. We're always checking out whiskey and all that good stuff. I have a boomstick whiskey holder here. And this is holding some rye whiskey. Stuff is pretty good. Some games. We do keep some games back there. And underneath the games, that brown box is full of quarters. So we like to bet quarters when we're out here playing games. To the far left, this is not the actual toolbox. This is a... Uh, cabinet it's a husky cabinet this is where i keep a lot of just different products that i don't want in the toolbox itself so you know i got glue and stuff like that in there wood glue so I, on top of that is my record player the record that is currently loaded up in the record player the sleeve is always kept behind it got a little handyman project book and i got a crown royal if that's if you like canadian whiskey it's 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 here it's just not in the main mix and you guys know I'm a Google Home type of guy. So I got Google products all over the place. And that is a Google speaker. So we transition into the actual drawer itself. So we have this top drawer. This is where I keep all my, basically my ratchets and the sockets for those. I have half inch way in the back. I have three fourths if I ever had to pull an axle or a wheel hub i have the ability to do that and deeps and shallows we got hex allen t you know whatever i could think of got my torque wrenches here in the front as well as breaker bars i have some more breaker bars that are on my workbench because i like i said i am preparing to do some a tune-up on the truck and we have the larger socket set so the three-fourth inch all the way down to a quarter of an inch extensions just everything like that that i access quite often is in that top drawer the the, the cabinet is or the box itself does have soft dra closed drawers for every cabinet so that's something i really like this i'm going to be upgrading these soon i do have the gear drive 12 point um, box in wrenches however um i don't and, and they, there are no skips so you know i, I go from eight all the way through 19 and here I'm going from one fourth to seventh A, so I'm missing the um, one inch. These are all ratcheting and flexible ratcheting wrenches. These are my very old Craftsman, made in America Craftsman's uh, wrenches that I just don't wanna get up, rid of. There are a lot of skips, they're six point. They're actually really good, they work really well. Underneath that, this drawer is full of my pliers and anything like that. So, uh, or vice grips, monkey wrenches, bison wrench, adjustable wrenches, quick access for that stuff. This drawer is full of my Forstner bits, also full of my router bits and, you know, just some woodworking stuff in general. This is more woodworking stuff. So different miter gauges, we have um, the blowers for one of my air compressors. You know, we got some um, carpenter squares, speed squares, all that good stuff. The very bottom here, this is mostly full of YouTube stuff. That is a device that allows me to cut a perfect circle. So you guys have seen my table that I film a lot on. That's what I use to cut a perfect circle with my router. And it's just full of a lot of random stuff, mostly YouTube items in there, spare screws that I don't wanna throw away. So up here, I keep extra blades for my circ saws and my table saw, also for my recip saws, stuff like that. All right, so next we move on. This is just a random drawer of stuff. You know, I keep a multimeter, some duct tape, you know, ability to clean off metal or whatever, some C clamps, stud detector. I got some uh, wire strippers of different mites. I have an exhaust puller. 
just different things in here I might need some air hose cutter here this is just a drawer full of different things that make things get hit into places or pry things open you know ball peen hammers all that good stuff prying items we have a laser level which I use this all the time to hang pictures and stuff up for the wife whenever it's demanded this is truly a drawer full of junk so just some blow motor cases and zip ties stuff I don't want to get rid of this also has my paint sprayer in here and just things that I'm not necessarily wanting to get rid of I keep a knee pad if I'm going to be doing some work and I don't want to just completely destroy my knees we move on to this side this top drawer is where I keep some screwdrivers I keep some big screwdrivers as well that I can use for like prying I got a Gerber in here I have a couple of sets of both SAE and some uh, metric hex keys got some picks in here I have some micro or some precision screwdrivers extra batteries for whatever the heck would need some batteries that size a pair of scissors and a pencil sharpener for woodworking purposes this drawer is full of stuff that helps me put things into walls so this is like my little metal you know sometimes if I'm gonna be screwing a lot of stuff in I use this on my wrist to hold a bunch of metal screws and items I got drill bits in here I got step down drill bits and you know just different things in here concrete and speed out things in here to make dowels and tenant centers and clean off stuff and I got wheels and sandpaper and just different things in here for to use with my drill this drawer is full of chisels it's full of saws Japanese pool saws it also has so a couple of different chisel sets it also has for my oscillating tool Let's see if I can get that out of there so for my oscillating tool I have a bag of blades that go in there I have a couple of Japanese pool saws if I'm trying to get a more precision cut from something I'll use those here I have a bunch of um, screwdrivers but specifically for you know screwing in sockets I have some pry bars a couple of uh, putty knives just different odds and ends that I don't use very often so they kind of as we transition downwards these are things I don't use very much I am also a professor so I keep a couple of books in here that help me with that some little advice I was reading I was recently trying to get my five month old to sleep more I had a book in here for that the training collar for the dog so you, obviously a drawer full of random crap I think we all have drawers full of random crap this was just recently empty I just threw these items in here um, I don't really have a need for a four a four way lug wrench I probably can give that away and I got a Metabo HPT tool recently and I did not need that bag but did could not find the heart to just toss it this is full of stuff as well black gloves are hard to come by cases for some YouTube stuff my super big hot glue gun my heavy duty heat gun bunch of rags we also keep some for my face masks and the replacement charcoal filters in here some gloves for if I ever do some welding got an extra pair of safety goggles in here more are on my workbench so some cons about this thing I still have that same con from earlier I'm not a big fan when you have this thing loaded down so this is full of sockets it's kind of hard to pull out and it just wants to kind of work its way back in um, and I don't like the the left and right movement I do like the fact when you get the 19 gauge version instead of the 21 gauge versions you do get two slides per drawer I think the so this can handle I think up to 200 pounds in this top drawer if you get the 19 or the 21 gauge version I don't think it can handle as much weight it does come with the husky mats they're included I haven't had any issues with those but I'm like I said, I'm not a big fan of this wiggle. So imagine this was getting opened and closed every single day. Someone could like just close it at a bad angle and just completely tear the bearings up for those drawer slides. Also not the biggest fans that, you know, these slides work. It's the same issue with this. Like, look how much plays in there. So imagine you close that at a bad angle this this bottom drawer does include two slides which I appreciate all the bottom drawers include two slides which is well appreciated 
but I still have that major complaint, that wiggle in there. The rubber wood, it does have, has no protection on it. I think online they say that it has a layer of protection on it. I would highly recommend putting paste wax on this to, uh, to help resist scratches, stains, stuff like that. Lay some down on this thing. Once again, I mentioned earlier that storage area inside is almost useless when you put this against the wall, which most people will do. Um, I, I, if you put this in the middle of a shop, then yeah, you can access that storage area from multiple sides, but you know, that's not going to be always accessible. Another thing I would say is this box itself, the price isn't the best. So I initially picked this thing up for a thousand. Actually, actually, I think it was on sale. So I got it for $9.98. I think these are now on sale for $11.98 at, at Home Depot. So they're bringing the price up and they're not adding any features. Speaking of features, I failed to mention it does have a pull handle. It's not attached because obviously I have my refrigerator bumping up right next to it in my, my humidor. But you would attach the actual pull handle here. And down there in the corner, which you can't really see, there is a six outlet uh, surge protector built into this thing. I just kind of, you know, Obviously, I don't use it because it's un not accessible and I want to keep it in this back wall. But those are nice features. Those are nice touches as well. Hey, so what are your thoughts? Is this something you would pick up? I definitely would buy it again. I know that price is slowly creeping up, but even at the price it's currently at, it's a pretty good deal, especially if you're going to be the at home DIYer. But listen, if you like this type of stuff, man, click right click right here. I'm going to put my whole man cave up here. You can check this out. Maybe get some ideas for yourself. And if you're into all this type of survival stuff, I'm going to click a little playlist right here. You can watch this till you pass out. Thanks for coming back. I'll catch y'all soon.